We are uh, extremely honored to be here tonight at the headquarters of the Human Rights Campaign. Um, the choice of this location is no accident. HRC has been an important partner in our work in protecting religious freedom and striving for equality for the LGBT community. We thank them for their hospitality this evening. There is no place we would rather be. And uh, here to offer a few words of welcome, I knew you were here, uh, <laughs> is uh, David Stacey, HRC's Director of Government Affairs. Thank you, David. Thank you. Well, I'm violating one of my most important sort of personal rules, which is not to be on a program with a bunch of ministers and other clergy, uh, because I can't in any way compete with them for eloquence or, or exhortation or, or inspiration, but I'll do my best, to, and, and I'll be very brief, too, because that's my other rule. Um, and that helps provide a little bit of a contrast, too. So, um, But... I'm, <laughs> But on behalf of HRC, HRC President Chad Griffin, and, and all of my government affairs team, I welcome you to HRC and, and welcome uh, Welton here once again to the building. Um, and I hope this isn't going to be the last time we see you here. Um, and I'm, you know, Chad couldn't be here, and he and he wanted to be, but I'm kind of glad he's not because. I can be here and talk about the work that we've done together with Welton, because I've seen Welton's work firsthand, day after day, whether it's working on religious liberties or working on the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Hate Crimes Prevention Act, where, you know, if you remember the fight, uh, if we passed that, we were going to end up with all of these clergy in jail for expressing their religious beliefs and op opposed to homosexuality. And Welton stood up and said, well, first of all, that's not necessarily everyone's religious belief. And second of all, we can protect people on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity from hate crimes and do that successfully. I can safely say that in the five years since passage of the act, we have no clergy in jail anywhere in the United States. <laughs> the Department of Justice has charged none, and, and the Republic is safe, and actually safer uh, because of that work. And, and Welton's voice was a really critical p piece of combating the, the forces that wanted to stop that. Um, same thing on, on issues of marriage equality and and, uh, and other issues where Welton has been able to stand up and say, look, the faith community speaks with many voices and a diversity of voices and many of those faith voices are pro-LGBT equality and, and Welton's ability to transcend the debate and bring new voices to that debate has been inspirational and, and really essential to the success we've had. So with that, I want to just leave it at that, but just thank Welton for his years of leadership and I know from HRC standpoint and the, the entire civil rights community um, is going to be lesser for the fact that he's no longer in Washington every week, but we hope to see him often and we know that he's advocating um, back from Louisiana. Thank you, Walton.